the art of reggae music here at the Viscaya Park. I'm standing next to one of my favorite artists, Wayne Wonder. How you doing, Wayne? I'm good, fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good to see you. So good to see you. So, a young man from singing in Sunday school in Buff Bay to stages, to, to, to stages across the world. Yeah. Did you ever think? <laughs> That was a good thing that I used to follow my mom to choir practice, you know, at by um, Maranatha or by Eastern Kingston. So that's where my 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 memory served me right as a as a little kid. And she used to put me to sit down because she didn't have a babysitter and like that. So as a little, I used to swing with my foot and singing, you know. So that that's where the energy started, you know. What I mean, just by following her to choir practice. Wow, wow. And now we're here. And I'm all over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the love of music started from when you were younger, um, and now it has propelled you in such a beautiful, beautiful career. Yeah. Um, what parts of the journey did you learn the most? I would say, like, um, as I say, Singing Melody was the one who introduced me to King Tubbies. Mm -hmm. So that's how I recorded my first song. So it actually started from there. But when I got settled, like when... Um, a found penthouse, like where you have a studio, it could be every day. Like that's what that's like your your nine to five. I'm there every day, always on time. I'm always the first one, you know. So that 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 penthouse era mold me, you know, the artist that I am today. And the stage performance, because you look so much like you're having fun on I, stage. I am, I am, <laughs> I am. Trust me, I am. When I'm on the stage, that, that's where I, that's my playground. You know what I mean? That's when I feel free and just free to express myself because the, 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 the person off stage is more laid back. So that's where I put all my energy. <laughs> so when you're off stage, what do you do? I just laid back. Um, when I'm not doing anything, I'm in the studio as usual because I also record myself. I'm an engineer. I know to record myself for years now. So I always try to keep, you know, just, you know, creative and just try to learn more, you know, the software because I'm coming from 24 track, then it converted to Pro Tools. So I've been using Pro Tools since the first version came out. Wow. Yeah. And I tell you, technology makes uh, music so much easier. So much easier. But do you miss the live band? I do, I do, I do, I do. So that's why, you know, being here and performing live, you can break it down and nothing beats a live performance. And you have got to perform with a whole bunch of fantastic people featured on your album. You've been featured yeah. on other people's yeah, albums. Uh, on, on right. Yeah, yeah. So who would you like to do something with that you haven't had a chance to? As um, Romain Virgo. That's like my singer. Like, you know, he reminds me so much of myself. More humble. You never hear me in no trouble, no. You know, I mean, you just have a nice personality. We spoke about it too, so it's just a matter of time, you know. You know, Romain is one of my top. You know, and the, the, the international market, I, I, I picture myself doing a song with Alicia Keys. We just sitting down and jamming and just creating the music around the piano, you know? I dreamed, I dreamed about that. <laughs> I hope that dream comes true, because I'd be in love with that. <laughs> That'll be a great song. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, reggae style. Have her singing reggae. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love that. I love that idea. So, what are we doing for 2022? What's popping? Just making new music and pouring out new music, you know what I mean? I got a couple new songs, um, Please Me, produced by Boom Dem, um, Tough Times featuring Mr. G. You know, that's a nice one too. Tough times don't last, only tough people do. Cause life is not easy, but you gotta push on through. It's a supreme melody, we just, you know, change the words and build a vibe to it, you know? After this pandemic, it, you know, it let you really think, damn what life is, you know? So it really put a perspective to it and you have to be humble because all is vanity, yo. Yeah, it's true. It's so easy. So many people who thought they were going to be here yeah, during yeah. this time are not here. Not here. I lost friends too, so from personal experience, like, yo, my friend is not here. Chicken would be here today with me. And he's not. Yeah, Chicken is my boy. You know, yeah, so... That was, that was heartbreaking yeah, about Chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we were like jamming a couple of weeks before and he's not like a person who was sick. Just like fell sick and within a week or within a few days he's gone. So when I look at life, you know, appreciate it more, you know. So what do you want to say to the Streaming Hub fans? Huh? What would you like to say to the Streaming Hub fans? Ah, love is lovely, war is ugly. Show love. Just don't talk love, but show love. I know a lot of people talk love, but you know, 
show love. You know, love is lovely. War is lovely. Thank you so much for anyone. Uh... Just mine. Drop the double. Double the weirdness. <laughs> the win